Welcome to 101. I'm Greg Bassett, your host from the Salisbury Independent Newspaper. We've got a newsmaker here today at PAC 14. Dr. Kathy Townsend is the new chairman, chairwoman of the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce. Welcome today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So you've got a great column in our paper this week, which talks about what you want to do as the new chair of the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce. Tell us what you want to do with this thing. This is exciting. It is very exciting, and there's lots of positive energy going on at the Chamber right now. We have many initiatives in place and lots of goals we have for the year, but uh, first and foremost, uh, Ernie Colburn, our uh, CEO and president, right. has decided to retire, so we're in the midst of a CEO search, so that's very exciting, and he, uh, he just has been a wonderful advocate for the Chamber and, and in his years, but he's decided it's time to go, so we're in the midst of uh, doing that also have uh, some new staff members that we're orienting. And three to get new them. staff members Three over new there. staff yeah. members, and they have just done an outstanding job. And, of course, Sophia has held down the fort while... Now, uh, we love to say her last name. Smecker. Smecker. Sophia we just enjoy Smecker. saying that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, and she's sweet. She just does a great job. So she has, yeah. uh, has been helping us. So we have lots of goals in place. And I, I would like to also uh, share what a wonderful job Kim Gillis, our past president right. now, and Chris Eccleston, our, our chair-elect, uh, are, are doing. They have just uh, teamed up with me to do lots of things that I couldn't have done alone, so I really appreciate their help. Yeah, Kim managed to have a baby while, during her chair, she <laughs> chairwomanship. She did. She did. She's amazing. So, uh, so I think she missed one meeting throughout the entire yeah, process. Yeah, she did a great job. Which is terrific. But anyway, so are you excited about this? I actually am very excited, yes. I, um, as I shared in, in the installation luncheon, and, and yeah. uh, I didn't get to put in the article, but, um, but for a long time, I think the Board of Ed has not had a, a, an active role in, in the community. Very good point, too. Yeah. And so, uh, so it's an exciting time for us to be able to be a part of, of uh, the chamber and the changes that are going on. And so I really am very excited. It's, it's, and uh, to align with our strategic plan, we have several goals in place, and, and they're just exciting as well. So if I'm a business in Salisbury and I don't really understand the chamber, thinking about joining, not sure what I can get out of it, give me your sales pitch to join the chamber. The chamber is an organization that has high energy, big impact. Uh, our big three focuses are resources, advocacy, and networking. We are able to put people and businesses, especially new businesses who come into town, in touch with others who are like them, others who can help them, who can give them resources. We can walk them through uh, through many other business uh, difficulties and problems. We can help them reach out to other, other community members and businesses who will be advocates for them. Also with our government, our government advocacy. Just this morning we had our uh, Jake Day came and spoke about the initiatives they have going on. Right, in, it's a in great Salisbury. access to the, the decision makers and, and sort of an inside track. Today he talked about what's going on with downtown and the different lots. Downtown and All uh, kinds promoting of confusion. business, trying to uh, keep uh, uh, entrepreneurs in our right. community and to uh, home ownership was a big topic today that he spoke on. But all of those things are exciting because as a chamber and as a business community, we can engage in those and support our local people, our local members, and our local government. Yeah, it's great to have an access like that, to go to something and you ask the mayor a question, mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily going to be in the newspaper, yeah, <laughs> you know. Exactly. Um, and you can kind of get hardcore if you want, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's a great, great opportunity. It is. Yeah. It, it is. Um, and also, the communication stuff is amazing. Uh, the Chamber sends so much business news out, shares news. Talk mm -hmm. about that a little bit. Okay. And that is one of our six goals. It's, right. uh, uh, we just talked about uh, recruiting and retaining and, and supporting and advocating for our members. So that's one of our, our first goals that align with our strategic plan. The second is communication. We have a great web page, and um, we really encourage all of our community, whether you're a member or not, although we'd love everyone to be a member, right. to go to our web page, to look at the calendar of events. It's amazing what our division and our networks do on a monthly basis to promote uh, business within our community. So going to the web page, communicating, uh, looking at the biz page, which uh, where we're able to um, uh, show our patrons who are our big sponsors right. for the chamber and also what all the different businesses in our chamber all you have to do is again call Sophia and uh, whatever you need can go into that biz page but our web page is a big communicator also we send out uh, reminders to all of our members about all the events going on we have uh, really dedicated hard-working and I want to emphasize volunteers you know we have our staff who are very hard-working but the people who are in the networks and the divisions of the chamber are volunteers I don't know how they do it. They don't have to do it, but they do. I'm telling you, I've never seen such an energetic group of people. 
I mean, six, seven, eight times a year, there's some kind of call to arms for the chamber where everyone has to jump up and mm -hmm. go out, and they gladly do it. They do, yeah. with a smile and enthusiastically, and they try to embrace others and, and bring them in to, uh, to be a part of it. It's, it really is amazing to me what a dedication our community has to the chamber and to promoting business in our, in yeah. our community. From everything from cleaning up the river, the little river cleanups that they do, to the uh, the little the mounds around the traffic lights at the yes. I mean it's incredible how cool that is yes well you know um, as uh, I just got installed three weeks ago but I've been trying as best I can to go to each of the um, division meetings and the right. network meetings and I did have the opportunity to go to the um, community outreach and that and there they talked about the beautification right. of those triangles that was amazing to me all of the businesses who sponsor those and we're trying to uh, bring that back up so that more people are aware that they have that opportunity to advertise their business and to keep our, our uh, community beautiful. So it's, ama it's amazing that that whole initiative is in place and people ha have, have really bought into it. So it's wonderful. Yeah, I, I get real cynical riding around and um, I remember last spring there was one of the little triangles there and I was like, gosh, they really need to work on that thing. And, and I'm thinking like, who is they? They is a bunch of volunteers who are busy people like you are. <laughs> Why don't you get out there? You're a yeah. chamber member and you work on that thing. And I, and I was like, right. okay, I, I don't get it. And then the very next week, the group had gone in and fixed it up and it was beautiful. It was just like one of those things were growing early yeah. and, you know, but just yeah. you get cynical in the car. It's like, well, they ought to go and uh -huh. those people should. Well, that's who, we're all those people. Yeah. We have to go do that. We are they. That's exactly <laughs> right. Uh, but but they're, they're re-energizing that whole initiative just to, uh, you know, when as spring gets here, we always like to see the flowers and everything cleaned up. So right. that, that whole initiative is, and that's just one of dozens and dozens of initiatives that our volunteers uh, put in place. It's amazing. The business after hours, mm -hmm. very fun. That's mm -hmm. a fun thing the Chamber does. Yes, very fun. And in fact, speaking of Jake, they just had one last week uh, the, at the mayor's office, the business after hours. So that was really exciting. Another one that um, that I thought was really good, a business before hours that I attended. Love that. Was um, the AAA had one. I learned so much that morning uh, that we went and visited and they were such great hosts. So, you know, we have some before hours, some after hours. and. So the business after hours is a great time for people to get together. You network at these things, and yes. it's fun, and you learn all about the businesses. It really is fun. Yep, you oh. really do. I went to one up at Courtesy Chevrolet, and I was like, oh, this is I'm not going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I learned about the car industry and it was really fun. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, one of the points that I've shared as I've gone to these meetings is some people who don't really know about business before hours and after hours, they mm. may have heard of it, but think, mm, should I really go? I would really want to encourage them to go because when you go into a new situation, sometimes it can be a little intimidating. Not the case at all. You know, when you go in, you're welcomed. And, and every time I've been to any of those events, I've learned something, which is really a, kind of a fun thing. And, and to, an advantage to each of our businesses. I'm so glad you're here because the Chamber has a TV show on PAC 14 called Chamber Chat. Yes. Which, and we kind of compete for guests. So <laughs> when Tony Nichols gets a guest that I don't have, I'm like, well, what is that person doing on there? I didn't, you know, they won't call me back, but they're going on, they're going on Tony's show. And when I saw the lineup for February and you weren't on it, I was like, oh, I'm going to nab Kathy. So thank you for being here. So, Tony, we got the president, the chairman before you did. Well, I have to tell you, I was on, I think, in uh, Je December, maybe it was. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> with him. But you get to announce all your new plans there with, you go. with him at some point. So That's that, right. So that'll be really exciting. In your column, you talked about the goals that you have. Um, tell us some of the goals that you've got as the new leader. Well, they really are exciting and they align, align directly with our strategic plan. One, as I shared a while ago, was the recruitment and retention and, and advocacy for our, um, for our members. Um, also, uh, communication with our board. I think that has, has um, been something that our boards and our division members and our networks and our membership have been asking for a little enhanced communication. So one of the goals uh, of Kim, Chris, and I is to continue and to enhance the communication with our members to make sure that everybody's in the loop and everybody understands where we're headed with the chamber. Another one is to be able to clearly articulate why someone who's not a member should be a member. Right. Uh, because we did hear that we have a board retreat each year, and we did hear that uh, clearly at our board retreat. 
How can we go out and recruit members? And what are our talking points about why everybody should be a member of the chamber? So it's important that we talk about that. Why should law offices be a member? Why should restaurants be a member? You know, how can we engage all the different sectors of, of our uh, industry, the industry sectors? Right, and members have to be ambassadors and go out and help sell the chamber as well. And I, yes. I do that all the time. Yes. Well, you know, Heather uh, Duma uh, leads up our uh, growth and development and they and our ambassadors, and they are doing a great job of going out and speaking to uh, non-members. Right. And, you know, also, you know, uh, talking to our members as well, but one of their main things is to go out and welcome new members into into the fold. But um, one of the big things of our goals that I'm really excited about this year is in that same vein of, uh, of retaining and recruiting members, we decided to look at a monthly um, industry sector focus. And so, for example, um, this next month we're going to be looking at the food industry and we're going to be celebrating our members who are, are in the food industry and it kind of aligns with Restaurant Week, which is in which April. Which is an excellent thing. So yeah. we're going to... Um, now, uh, I get upset that the restaurant from Laurel keeps winning. <laughs> is it Abbott's? Or? It's delicious. I uh, want the is. restaurants in it Salisbury is. to win. <laughs> But yeah. it's delicious, it really yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. So through our general membership luncheons, through all of our efforts, we're going to try to really embrace the food industry for, for a month. Another month we're going to do health care, and we're going to try to encompass all of the diff dis different um, sectors that are a part of our chamber. But each month we will be able to celebrate those different sectors, um, honor our members, invite speakers to our luncheons who are a part of that sector, and just be able to have a focus where they kind of have their day in the light. Right. And, and so I, we think it's going to be really exciting because, you know, it's a big elephant when you talk about the chamber and having 820 members and that's right. a lot of people to try to um, really again celebrate and so if we do it eat that elephant one bite at a time and so we thought that would be a really exciting way to do that you know look at the business sectors on a monthly basis. When you think about the chamber historically it's uh, old fat white guys in blue blazers <laughs> um, and women in red uh, blazers uh, but the chamber's not like that it's a very young and diverse group there. Yes. Well, you know, it, it is very diverse. It goes from people our age all the way down to the young professionals, which I think that's such an exciting uh, part. But I feel like there's more of them. I feel like an old guy around them. <laughs> well, they're really, really um, taking us by storm and yeah. they're doing a great job. It's, it's people who are young people who really understand business, are excited about being in our community and promoting their business. And, and in addition to that, if they're entrepreneurs, you know, bringing that whole element into the business uh, of Salisbury. So it is very exciting. It's very diverse. Uh, which I think is great because it brings lots it. of different perspectives yeah. to the table and you know I listen carefully to some of these uh, younger people who have come up with some creative ideas because uh, I call it twatty doing uh, you know that's the way we've always done it right. we can't do that's the way we've always done it we need to look at some new innovative ways to promote businesses in our community right I think the chamber term for the chairman is too short because it feels like Kat, uh, that uh, Kim was just on and then she's <laughs> off and uh, when uh, Memo was in charge, he, he only had like a like a ten month term. Yeah. Should it be two years, maybe? Are you going to get enough done in a year, or do you want more time? Well, that's why it's so important that Kim and Chris and I are working closely together. I so see. That okay. As a, I will tell you, it's it's lots of work, and, right. you know, and and so I think one year is probably sufficient in that to be able to do your regular job and do the chairman job. Um, one year after one year, you'd probably get burnt out, but you're always willing to stay on and support. So. Um, uh, Chris and Kim are on board with everything we're doing, and so uh, uh, Kim will continue to support when I, when she's uh, when I become past president, and right. then Chris comes in. So, it it is really exciting, and I think each year as new um, a new chair comes in, that brings new and fresh ideas to to keep us going. Right. So the building downtown is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, what what can members do there? There's all kinds of access. Explain to me though what how you could maybe use the building or have access to it. Talk about that a little bit. Well, we have lots of literature there, first of all. We hold lots of meetings. In fact, I went in the other day for a meeting and we, we had run out of space, it, which is amazing to me. Again, these people are all volunteers and every single room was full of people who were engaging with the chamber and were working towards something positive in our business community. Yeah. But they, uh, they're they always welcome to come in, to get information, to, um, to request uh, how can they get resources, to find out, and again, I go back to our web page because lots of people maybe won't take the time to come and walk in unless if they're coming in for a meeting but if they go to the web page they're going to find out all of the things that are going on and how they can engage 
with the chamber and how the chamber can serve them. And you know, really, that's kind of my, my focus. It's not all about the chamber, it's about how we can serve our community. Right. So impressed with what happened a couple years ago when the chamber went in to help with the uh, poultry festival, the annual poultry festival. Mm -hmm. Delmarva poultry industry couldn't support it anymore, didn't have the vision for it, I guess. Mm -hmm. It sort of it served its purpose. Out, yeah. um, chamber helped turn it into a county fair. Mm -hmm. Amazingly successful effort. Talk about that, how, how the chamber can sort of jump in and help save something like that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, and of course I wasn't on the board at that time, but um, but it is exciting. And it's again, this August is our Wicomico Fair. It's one of the highlight events uh, uh, of what we do because now it has really taken off and it's a family event. Everybody can come, everybody can engage. And people have really gotten behind that because they see the value in, in bringing people together. It promotes your business, all of the different restaurants and uh, yeah. you know, have the opportunity to be there. It's just very, very exciting. So. You know, once everybody, it, the a vision has been articulated and everybody understands where we're headed and they buy into that vision, then it comes up in conversations wherever they are in the business community. Hey, are you going to the Wicomico Fair? You might want to put yeah. a booth in there. You might want to do this. You might want to do that. So it, it's just really exciting to, to see that happen. And when you see the booths, when you walk in, you see the, everyone's banner, you think, you know, beyond just what the business is, you think, yeah. this is someone who cares about the community. Yep. They're supporting this thing. Yeah. Um, it was a great event last year. It's always we, great. we attended it. It was just yeah. just so fun. And this year is proving already in the planning stage to be even bigger and better. Yeah. So it's exciting. And last year they had good weather, which is always yes. That's always a plus. <laughs> <laughs> that, that always helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Now the chamber for years did the uh, the Salisbury Festival. Mm -hmm. um, tried to change it up a little bit. It, it's a lot. It was a lot of pressure on the volunteers. Now there's a whole new sort of theory about what to do with downtown. There's an events coordinator downtown. Um, and they're doing something similar to Salisbury Festival in the future. Um, talk about that. Is there a, a chance for the Chamber to do more events like that downtown? Are you guys going to look at that? Um, what's the thought about that? Absolutely. In fact, I had that on my list to talk about okay. calendar of events. Um, that is uh, coming back in a little different form. The Chamber is fully invested in that. It's going to be called uh, Salisbury, Downtown Salisbury Festival. Um, we're uh, still going to be the the rides and that sort of thing, right. and, and it's going to be an opportunity again for businesses to come and engage. So we are invested in that, and uh, and we uh, are looking forward to it, and, and are confident it's going to be very successful. So what does the chamber have coming up? Well, we have several really exciting events coming up, and I'm going to read them so I don't miss any of them. Uh, one is we have Restaurant Week, uh, which is in April. 11th through the 17th. We have our awards banquet, which is uh, April 20th at Dove Point. We have the Downtown Salisbury Festival, which is coming up in June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And then the big Wicomico County Fair, August 18th, 19th, and 20th. So we have some really big, exciting events coming up. I can't say enough good stuff about the Chamber. I mean, I used to not ever understand what they did, but now mm -hmm. being a part of it and see the business networking that goes on, it's it's vital in my business. It really is. Yeah. You know, one uh, one of our other goals uh, that we want to bring back is the, um, and we've had it in place, but it hasn't been commonplace knowledge across our members. And another reason why a non-member would want to join is our member to member benefits. Uh, a whole list of things like, you know, I might be a car dealership or a restaurant and give discounts or, you know, uh, something that's going to be a benefit to our other members. And so one of the goals again this year is to bring that in the forefront, to highlight it and encourage our members to give other members benefits as they go out throughout the community. It'll encourage them to go and support the other businesses. It'll encourage non-members to join. So right. we're excited about that as well. You talk about the business ties between the education system and, and business. Um, and it's great to see you at these meetings because people get these notions about the school system and mm -hmm. sometimes negative. And mm -hmm. then they'll ask you or they'll say something. And you'll go, well, that's not true. This is what's really going on in the school system. And it's great to have like that advocate there to sort of, you know, educate people about what's really going on. So, I mean, that's really, really valuable. And that is a really great point because what I discovered when I, uh, years ago when I began um, investing in the chamber and, and coming in and coming to the meetings and uh, what I realized was we didn't have a seat at the table and whatever somebody happened to say about the education system, everybody took as being the truth because nobody was there to right. clarify. And right. so that's been a great opportunity, honestly, for for me to be able to give the other side of the story and to also engage help of our community. We, we're a school system, but we can't do it alone. It, ta it takes a community, it takes a business community, and it takes everybody to join in to educate a, a child. So it, it's been a great opportunity to be able to advocate 
for our, our students and our families and to clarify different things that yeah. may be rumors in the community. Well, and there are programs too that could be funded by businesses uh -huh. exactly. that don't want to be necessarily funded by taxpayers in the school, sort of mm -hmm. an extra curricular type thing. Mm -hmm. and so there's a, a chance there to do all that networking mm -hmm. too, which is really important. And you know, uh, you wouldn't uh, believe the number of times people have said, well, I didn't know that. Right. Or, I never thought of it that way. Or right. we never knew you had these mandates and restrictions, and this is why you're having to do X, Y, Z. So it really has been an enlightening thing for our community when we've been able to get out there. And 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 uh, it's not just me. It, there's other people from obviously from the board of education. I've also encouraged people who are in our uh, school district to engage. And so, in fact, there's an event coming up uh, April 7th. It's a 5K race where the Board of Education and the library and the city are, uh, it's a literacy, uh, literacy right. initiative. And so there's going to be a 5K and a 1K race. And so it's really given us all an opportunity to engage together and be collaborative. And it's been exciting. It's just and it's getting everyone together. It's it just, is. It's, it's just so cool. Um, in your role with the school board, uh, how's the year going with schools? It's going great. As you know, we have a new superintendent and Dr. Hanlon is doing a fabulous job and things are very positive. Um, I'm on the administrative services side, so I have departments like transportation and food service and well, you, human resources. You create and, the tools for these people to learn. Yep, yep. <laughs> right. So it's ideal. The, I, I'm on the business side right. and I, you know, being a part of the chamber is, is just a great fit. Right. Yeah. So but it's it, great. But it's a good year and mm -hmm. things, things feel good in the school system right now. They do. They do. We're moving in a positive direction. It's never easy, you know, when you're uh, educating almost 15,000 students. There's always going to be little hiccups, but honestly, we're having a really, really good year. Great. And I shouldn't ask, but you're losing your compatriot, uh, Dr. Margaret Handy, who I love a lot. She's retiring. We've got a story about her going in the uh, Salisbury Independent. Good. Um, Good. How are you? Because there's, I asked for some photos, and every photo has you in it with her. I guess you mm. sit together at the board meetings. We do. Um, <laughs> And you guys just look like such a great team there. Uh huh. Well, we are a great team, and and uh, uh, Dr. Handley Handy will be sorely missed. That's for sure. Uh, she leads the instruction side of the house, and she'll be leaving uh, June thirtieth. And uh, I guess I'll go ahead and share. It's not common knowledge, but I will also be retiring August thirty first. Oh no! Of this year, and so uh, wait, that's they're exciting making news too. here. <laughs> making news here. <laughs> that is is exciting, but uh, you know, Dr. Hanlon has plans in place. She will find uh, very very competent people to uh, to lead us forward, and and I have full confidence in her. She's do, just doing a wonderful job. And you have no idea what you're going to do in retirement. Well, first I'm going to have fun with. Uh, I have six and one on the way, seven grandchildren. So wow. that's going to be my first priority. And then, if anybody knows me well, I can't sit still for very long. No. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going. I'm going to find something part time, probably that uh, would fill fill my need to uh, to be useful. Of course, I'm still going to be on the chamber all the way through December, and then past president after that, or past. Uh, uh, chairman after that. So it's exciting. It'll free me up just a little bit to even engage more with the chamber. So you're a lifelong ed educator and you were in the classrooms, principal, you were in Del Mar, mm -hmm. you, were, you were here. Yes. Um, and now you're in an administrative role. Do you just maybe miss the classroom stuff? Would you want to get back to that a little Do bit? Do you know or? sometimes, uh, sometimes if I'm out visiting schools and I happen to go by, uh, well I was a math teacher first of all because right. that, you know, math is and, my and love. And she was the math teacher that no one wanted to get. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to have me. No. <laughs> Was I mean? <laughs> no, she just expected like like homework to be done and things I like did. that. You had you had expectations for your students. I did. Yes. I loved my students. But you know, sometimes I'll walk by a classroom and and I'll I'll be like, oh, let me in there. I want I want to get up in front of that class and, and because I just really did love it. I, I loved I love the role I'm in now. But you know, once you're a teacher, always a teacher. Right. You, you kind of uh, aspire back to that. So who knows? At at some point in my retirement, I may want to. Teach. Wow, that's exciting. I'm yeah. jealous. <laughs> it is. It's very, it's very exciting. But I've had a very fulfilling career, and um, and of course my affiliation with the chamber now is exciting. So I just have to say, life is good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So you'll have a lot to work on with the chamber, um, yes. and you'll have a lot to work on to hand over, I guess, all your stuff to whoever comes along. Our chamber, the Salisbury Chamber, is one of the top rated in the state. Um, it's a four-star chamber. It could be a five-star chamber, but it doesn't collect money and act as a political action political committee. Action and, committee yes. and Because it's just not our style down here right. for the chamber to come out in favor of candidates like mm -hmm. that, to be that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's more of a community thing. So with, with a community role, what can the community do to help get more involved in the chamber? Well, one thing that they can do is engage. Uh, 
Uh, if they have a particular need, call the chamber. If they have something they can offer, call the chamber. If they're not a chamber member, join the chamber and network with others because I guarantee them uh, whatever business it is, it's going to enhance your business. Um, also, get on our webpage. Find out, you know, who are other members. We have all of those 800 and some members listed, on, listed by uh, industry on, on our webpage, and so they can get on the webpage and see that. Another thing that a challenge I put out at the uh, general membership luncheon when we were installed was, come to the general membership luncheon and bring a friend. You know, get other people involved because when, when it's just a core doing the work, it begins to, they begin to get burned out. And so as our, um, as our sphere of influence grows, we want everybody to become involved because we welcome people into the chamber. So, and now that we're gonna have a, a monthly focus, industry sector focus, right. uh, it would be great for say food, uh, food, the food industry when we speak about that at our general membership luncheon. You know, all our food industry people, we want to recognize them and bring a friend. Right. So lots of ways to engage. And those luncheons are great because you get there and you figure out whether you sort of fit in with uh -huh. the chamber or not um, mm -hmm. and it is it's a there's a real camaraderie there there is and it's people who care about Salisbury succeeding they want Salisbury to succeed yes and you get around all these negative people who don't understand you know what the meaning of Salisbury and it, it feels so good to be in that room because everyone's pulling in the same yep. direction that's exactly right and, and we want to spread the love yeah the food's good and it is good it's always good <laughs> it moves around uh, to different different yes. venues uh -huh. but the food is always good yeah. and it's, it's fun in fact um, someone was just encouraging me to stop sitting with the same people that I know to get around uh -huh. and sit at, at different tables and I started doing that but I know everyone there. I'm, I'm so fortunate to get to know all these yeah. people. Yeah, And you know another exciting thing that's coming up is our awards banquet in April and we'll be honoring and recognizing businesses in our community who have done great things and it's all, it is a lot about celebrating the people who are working hard and, and succeeding so that's going to be an exciting event as well. Right, I get to brag. Um, I won the chamber we won the newspaper, and uh -huh. I won the Chamber Award last year, the big award. And, yes, you did. That's exactly right. I, I start to cry when I think about it. It was, yep. it was. It's a great honor, isn't it? It, it was like it was the equivalent of, of graduating college. I mean, mm -hmm. it was, in terms of my pride, uh -huh. uh, it was just it was an amazing thing. Yeah. See, and that's what we want to do for people. We want to recognize their hard work and and their investment in our community. Yeah, the banquet's in March. Yes. Who's the? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The banquet is April 20th. April 20th. Mm -hmm. Who's the MC for it this year? Um. I can't remember. I think it's me. Is it you? <laughs> oh my goodness! I should have known that. You are the MC. Well, good. Obviously, they didn't include you in that decision. Uh, well, I have missed a couple. You know, I've been trying to go to each of the um, each of the network meetings, so I have missed several. <laughs> they were like, "Who are we going to get to get up and speak at this thing?" Oh, let's get that guy. Well, you that know? makes me happy. You're always welcome and 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 a delight to have. Anything I forgot to ask? I don't think so. I just encourage people to engage in the chamber to uh, help us become a thriving community and it, it's very exciting time. Well, congratulations in your Thank retirement. You. I guess Thank we'll have to write stories about that. <laughs> um, I knew about Dr. Handy first, yeah. so we'll write about her first. Well, actually, it's, it's always divided by years, so she's retiring this year. Mine is actually going to uh, be next in, year, right? The after next July, year. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. That, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So, well, thank so, you, though. So, thank you, Dr. Townsend, for being here. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Dr. Kathy Townsend, she's the new chairwoman of the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce. She's the assistant superintendent of administration, administration. for mm -hmm. the Wycombe County School Board. She's got a lot going on. She's very busy. She's making our community a better place, and we're always thrilled to have her. Thank you so much. I'm Greg Bassett from the Salisbury Independent Newspaper. Another edition of One on One right here on PAC 14. First Shore Federal is proud to support PAC-14 and one-on-one. -on -one. We'd encourage every business to support PAC-14 and, and pick a program and support it and let's make a difference.